Well, it's the most wonderful time of the year. The big guy in his red suit is gearing up for his busiest time of the year, and area residents sure are helping him out. And my co-anchor Nina Paholke is out live at one of the locations where Santa's helpers have been taking in toys. Good morning, Nina. Good morning, Bobby, and you said it. Mr. Claus himself, obviously busy this time of year, but so are residents here in Portage County as hundreds of toys have already been brought here to Precision Glass and Door. And this is only the first week of this campaign. It just kicked off on Monday. Now, News 9 is, again, so proud to be lending a helping hand to the kids in need this holiday season through Toys for Tots. And Precision Glass and Door is a collection site yet again this year. And the owners say the need is big in the Portage County area, and they love that they can count on community members to help out the kiddos. It's my favorite time of the year, making sure all the kids get gifts to open up on Christmas morning. I mean, being a kid myself, you know, that it's Christmas is a special time for kids. Other collection sites include several Wagner Shell gas stations, as well as Fleet Farm in Wassa. And just a note, our news station is not a drop-off site this year. We've got that full list of where you can bring a toy on our website at waow.com. So whether you're sipping on some hot cocoa this morning or maybe a fresh cup of brew, you should put that down and add toy shopping to your list so we can make these kids' dreams come true. Live in Stevens Point, Nina Paholke, News 9, WAOW.